Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I have partnered with Sephora to share my first Sephora savings event haul. It is here and I picked up some really great things so I cannot wait to show you everything I have. We're gonna unbox, swatch, play around with everything in this bag. And I have to tell you guys, I have become a huge fan of same day delivery. The receipt's kind of long. We don't wanna look at that right now. Ever since they started offering that service, it is the only way I like to shop the first day of the savings event because you know, we plan for this for weeks in advance. So I'm always ready to go. I have all of the products in my shopping cart. The moment Rouge members can shop, I open my phone, pull up the app, click one button, and then I just sit back and relax and all of the products just end up on my doorstep. It is so nice. Now, I do also like to shop in store. So at some point, maybe later today or over the weekend, I'll take you with me and we'll do a little shopping vlog. That way I can take a few laps, make sure I didn't miss anything. I always like to see all of the new products that they have out on display, smell any new fragrances that I haven't tried yet, candles, you name it. But for today's haul, I had quite a few restocks. And for the savings event, I think restocks are just no brainers. So that's where we're going to begin. I have one body care product here. This is the body serum from Necessaire. Last year I started using the entire range of Necessaire body products. I believe I showed you the entire ritual. Well, I recently completely finished the body serum and I knew immediately that I wanted to replace it because this is now just part of my everyday shower routine. Morning, night, sometimes both, but at least once a day I use the body serum because it is so incredible for hydration and I've truly noticed a huge difference with my skin. Now I use this a very particular way. As soon as I get out of the shower, I kind of towel dry a little bit, but not all the way. And while my skin is still a little bit damp and warm, that's when I massage the body serum all over the place. And it absorbs really quickly. It doesn't leave any sort of residue on the skin. It just leaves your skin feeling really soft, smooth, and nice and hydrated. And the reason why it makes a difference and why you want a little moisture left in the skin is because the body serum is full of hyaluronic acid. It kind of locks in the moisture. It actually contains five molecular weights of hyaluronic acid to be exact. So it provides a multi-level hydration. It has niacinamide and ceramide NP. So it's really going to target any dry areas on the skin. I apply this all over, but if you have dry feet, the knees, the elbows, anywhere where you really need an extra boost of hydration, this is amazing. I think what I love most about the body serum is the texture. So you'll see when I pump it out. Woo! First new pump. It's kind of a milky gel, but it's very thin, lightweight. It's not sticky. It's not tacky at all. So whenever you apply this, it just absorbs and you're left feeling really soft and smooth, but then you can apply whatever body lotion, body moisturizer on top of the serum. So it's just like a serum for the face. You want to do the serum first and then you can layer on top. You can even mix the serum into your favorite body moisturizer, which I love especially going into summer, I want my skin to be as luminous and glowy as humanly possible. So it had to be replaced. And I honestly don't think I will ever go without my body serum. If you are like me and you are constantly sunless tanning too, I'm kind of always in some sort of state of exfoliating in a really harsh way, in which case this is nice and soothing, or layering a fresh sunless tan and then trying my best to maintain it, which takes a lot of hydration. So this is a must for me year round. Healthy looking glowing skin is certainly the theme of today's haul. And did you know there are two new shades of the Super Goop Glow Screen? This is one of my most restocked products from Sephora. It's one of my all time favorites and another must have in my beauty collection. I picked up both. One of them is pretty dark, but I wanted to at least be able to show you what it looks like. So this is Dawn, and then they also added Sunset. And I pulled out my Sunrise and my Golden Hour as well. So I'm gonna unbox these and swatch all four shades for you. It's my all-time favorite illuminating primer. It looks beautiful beneath makeup. It's gonna help grip the foundation. It hydrates the skin. Of course, you have your sun protection with SPF 40. And even on no makeup days, because it has a little bit of a sheen to it and a little tint, it helps to even out the skin tone. So it makes your skin just look very fresh faced and beautiful even with no makeup. So Dawn has a pinky pearl and then Sunset has a very deep golden bronze tone to it. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with the original Sunrise, but as soon as I saw pinky pearl, I knew I had to pick this up. And I was so excited to see what this Sunset would look like. Ooh, that's beautiful. 
Yeah, I think this is going to be too dark for my face, but I can always give it to a friend or use it on my body. I just had to see what all four of them would look like. I've gone through probably three or four tubes of this. Up at the top, this is dawn, sunrise, golden hour, and sunset. Between all four of these shades, there should be a super goop glow screen for everybody now. And because I'm an absolute child, I'm just gonna mix them all together and see what happens. Ooh, that's not too bad. <laughs> it's very glowy. I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm just gonna wipe it on my arm. There is a glow screen body. I'm almost done with mine. But I think it's only available in one shade. Maybe that will be next. They'll bring out different shades of the body as well. It's a long time favorite. I recommend this every single year. And it's one of those products that I do use up. Now I think I'm stocked for quite a while, but I'm so excited to have all of these shades. I could not pass this up, especially during the savings event. If you have a dark skin tone, you are going to love sunset. And if you are incredibly fair, or you just like maybe a light pink glow beneath your makeup, you will love Dawn. If sunrise was maybe a little bit too peachy or had too much pigment for you, maybe you have a very pink undertone. This is going to be beautiful. It's actually a lot lighter than the Sunrise. And then my last restock and another one of my all-time favorites is the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation shade 5.5. 5.5 is my summer shade, and then sometimes I use 5.2, and I kind of go back and forth between the two. Sometimes if I'm feeling really high maintenance, I mix them. But I recently finished my little travel size bottle. So this one is a little bit smaller. I also have the full size bottle, of course, but I didn't need to replace it yet. I finished this guy because this kind of sits in my travel case, and anytime I have a trip, I always use this foundation. It's so consistently good, and I know it doesn't matter where I'm going, what the climate's like. I kind of know that my foundation is going to look amazing whenever I bring this with me. So it's my go-to travel. I love that they offer this in a smaller size. So I went ahead and I replaced it. And this was actually a 5.2, and I picked up the 5.5. Going into the warmer months, any trips that we do have coming up, I'll want the 5.5. So now this is going to the empties and this is going to go with all of my travel makeup that I kind of keep packed, ready to go. That way it makes it really easy anytime I have a trip. This is of course the foundation that I'm wearing on my skin today. I love it because it's perfecting, it's buildable, it never looks cakey because the pigments lay flat on the skin and it's oil free, yet it maintains a little glow. Now we're getting into all of the new stuff. I am so excited to test out this concealer. I've had so much luck recently with new concealers. Kind of strange because concealer is usually very tricky and I've been so loyal to maybe three formulas for years. And then I don't know what happened, but all of the brands kind of figured it out and they've been launching incredible concealers. And I love the Valentino foundation and primer. So this is the new Very Valentino concealer. It says all day light lasting covering concealer. And I had no idea what shade, so I went with Light Rosa 2. I think this is one of the lightest available. I think the very lightest was sold out, but then this is the second lightest. And I always go pretty light with concealer because I like a really bright under eye. I love the packaging. It looks very cute. It's kind of small. It still has the gold Valentino on top, so it looks like kind of a shrunken mini version of the Very Valentino foundation and the primer. So let's see what the wand is like. I have not seen this yet. Ooh, okay, so it's a tapered kind of angled doe foot applicator. Very light, very bright. Kind of looks medium-ish coverage. Not super sheer, but not really thick either. Ooh, it's bright. <laughs> oh no, hopefully I didn't mess this up. I don't think I did. Let me just tap a little bit underneath the eye. I don't want to mess up my makeup. I am curious. I cannot wait to test this out. I quickly pulled up the Sephora app. I wanted to read a little bit more about it. It has a radiant finish. It's supposed to be hydrating, medium coverage. You can kind of tell by the consistency. Cream formula, long wearing. You know it's so hard to tell when your makeup is already done, but of course I'm going to do a true full first impression and test out that concealer for you. And hopefully I love it just as much as I like the Valentino foundation. 
that's really the only reason why I picked this up because I certainly do not need more concealers, but I'm always so tempted and curious whenever I see a new launch. And the packaging, I was just sold. Usually, you know, if you layer concealer, it starts to look really bad. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like it. So I know I've mentioned at least a few times that I've sort of carried over my low buy slash no buy from last year, and I'm just doing my best to be very mindful about all of my beauty purchases. So I haven't made any hard and fast rules for myself, but I'm just kind of putting things off if I think I have way too many. So I waited patiently to pick up the Charlotte Tilbury blush wands. This is the Matte Beauty blush wand but I could not help myself. I just had to try it for myself and they look really beautiful. And I think what sold me was that I recently tried the Pinkgasm. I'm so late to the game with all of her products, but I love that Pinkgasm, kind of a highlighter blush all in one. So this is Pink Pop and Dream Pop. Red blushes are having a moment this year and I am not mad at it. It's kind of unexpected. I think red blush actually mimics a sunburn or it mimics being sun-kissed a little bit more so than, you know, a bright berry fuchsia cheek. So I actually think red blush is a little bit more natural. It's not really what you'd expect, but that's why I really wanted to pick this one up and see. Easy liquid blush. This is the satisfying part. Are you ready? I have seen these all over social media and I would be lying if I said I did not have some FOMO. And you know, I've even seen people using this on the lip as well. So I think it is multi-use. Okay, I already have blush, but I'm gonna see. One for day, two for disco, according to Charlotte. <laughs> does blend out nicely. Pigmented, but easy to blend. And that's what we like. It's more pink. I thought it might be true red or like a strawberry. It's pretty though. Let's try a little pink pop on the other side. Why not? Two dots. Three dots. I didn't want to waste it. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love these, I think. I kind of thought I would because I fell in love with that pinkasm wand. I tell you what, they really are beautiful and easy. I think there are four shades. There's a pillow talk and there's a peach as well. I don't feel like I needed the whole collection, but I feel like I chose the two best shades for me. Which side do you prefer? I'm kind of leaning towards Dream Pop. This is more daytime. This is more evening. This is kind of spring. This is more summer. I love them both. I have more Charlotte Tilbury and more glowy skin products here. This is the Hollywood Glow Guide Face Architect Highlighter. I have Pillow Talk Glow and Moonlit Glow, and these were recommended to me. So I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna open up Pillow Talk. Well, I'll open up both to show you. It is so smooth and buttery. I am a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury highlighters. I still have that giant highlighter that was for face and body from a couple years ago. And I'm not sure I've even made any sort of dent in it, but I really like this shade, I think a little bit more than the other one. Teeny tiny bit is all you need. Look at that. So pretty and glowy. Oh, it's so nice. I love a pink highlighter as well. And I, you know what I like about it is that it is pinkish, but it's not too pink. It's not too unnatural looking. You know, sometimes if a highlighter has a really extreme undertone, you can just tell where it's sitting on the face. Whereas this, I think will blend in really nicely to your blush. Her packaging is always so intense. It's actually better to open it from the bottom. You. And I love how it says Hollywood on the compact. Looks very glam. Ooh, there's a protector. 
See, this one is a little bit more pearly. Oh my gosh, it's so buttery. Look at that blinding. I think I'm going to have to start highlighting my body every single day in order to go through some of my highlighters. But you know, over the summer, I generally do. I always apply highlighter to the chest, to the neck, to the shoulders even, and it always looks so pretty. These are gorgeous. I have a little more makeup here to share with you. This is a relatively new launch from Give Beauty. This is the Painted Up Longwear Mousse Eyeshadow, and these have been highly recommended to me. So I have two shades here. This is Top Knot and bouncing shoes and I'm planning to use them together and this is a mousse eyeshadow which I have been kind of living for my cream eyeshadows lately. They're sometimes a little bit easier than powders as kind of like a tap 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 one and done you're on your way and I like that it's in this little squeezy tube and these two shades should work together. This is bouncing shoes. It is so interesting. It's very moussey. And it's so smooth. So it just kind of blends. And as you blend it out, it almost dries to a bit of a powdery finish. So it really is just like an eyeshadow, like a normal eyeshadow. Ooh. See, this color I think is perfect either all over the lid or at least a little bit in the crease and it seems like you only need a teeny tiny bit because I've basically covered my entire hand and I only squeezed out a small amount. Okay, so what I'm picturing is this in the crease and then just tapping a little bit of top knot then right in the middle or right on the lid. So this I think has more of a metallic finish. Let me see. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Okay, so this one is more metallic, but it's kind of sheer. It looks so pretty. And you know what I like about this formula is because it's kind of light and bouncy, it's not quite as intense as other similar items. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I feel like that would look pretty on the body <laughs> or the face. There's a little micro glitters in there. Maybe not for the face, but definitely the body. I could probably mix that in with my Necessaire Body Serum. And it just kind of reflects. It truly would not be a Sephora savings event haul if I did not share at least a handful of new Sephora Collection Pro Brushes. I think this is always one of the best deals you can get during the savings event. So here I have an 18, a 15, a 22, and a 26. And I'm telling you right now, this is not going to be the last you hear me talk about these because there are a few that I've seen online that were not available online. They are available in store. And I have my eye on a few other brushes. So this is the 15. I feel like I don't have this yet, which at this point is kind of hard to believe because I have almost all of them, almost. This is an eyeshadow brush. And I think this is going to be really nice with those little mousse paints from Give Beauty. Ooh. It's a little bit smaller. What I like about it is the size. So it's kind of your traditional dome-shaped eyeshadow brush, but I think it's nice and fluffy, but kind of precise at the same time. I really like the shape. You know, it's kind of nice too, even for buffing eyeshadow underneath the eye, but I really think applying eyeshadow to the lid, the outer V area, you know, anywhere that you want it to be a little precise, I think this is going to be perfect. This one I unboxed earlier today and I already used it and I have a couple of these actually. This is the Pro Shadow 18. This is the dome shaped brush that I do always use underneath the eye. And I have a couple, but I'm always using them. They get dirty. So I think it's just so much easier to have a backup. And it's one of those brushes that I use constantly. The one I already have, I always use to buff eyeshadow beneath the lower lash line, but I kind of think this is the perfect brush for blending out depth and darker shades in kind of the outer V area and also smudging eyeshadow along the top lash line. So I wanted to have another one. 
This right here, I did not have. This is the Eyeliner Pro Brush, the 22. I have something similar because I have the Brow Brush, which has an angled brush on one side and then the spoolie. And I do really like that one, but I think this one is a little bit, yes, this one is a little bit kind of softer and also thinner. So you could use this for like a pot eyeliner, a gel eyeliner. It's amazing for details because it is so sharp and crispy and for winging out eyeshadow. And I did not have anything like this, not angled. I have a couple like tapered, very fine eyeliner brushes, but I don't feel like those are best for creating the wing. I actually think the angled brush is the way to go. This one I unboxed earlier and I used for a video. This is the Pro Crease 26. I think this might be my only 26 and I'm gonna need to order another one because it's super fluffy. I swear by the 24 and the 19 for the crease and the eyes as well, but this 26 is that perfect, really fluffy brush that you can never have too many because you can just use it to go back. Well, you can use it for the crease when you're starting your look, but you just use it to blend everything and anything, you know, make sure you don't have any harsh lines. I have so many fluffy brushes, but they're always dirty. They're almost always dirty. It's impossible to have enough of them. They are so incredibly durable. I do not baby my brushes at all. I wash them. I'm really kind of harsh whenever I'm washing my brushes because I want everything to be really fast. They bounce right back. They never lose their shape. They don't lose the hairs. It's nice and soft. It blends everything beautifully. I would have to check my collection, but I'm pretty sure this is my one and only 26. So I will likely go back and get probably two more of these and then I'll be done with the 26. The eye brushes are great. The face brushes are great. I use them every single time I do my makeup and the price is right. They're so reasonably priced year round. And then with 30% off during the savings event, it's so easy to just stock up on the best makeup brushes. Last but certainly not least, I have one more item that I added to my cart, and this is actually a restock as well. This will come as no surprise. It is one of my all-time favorite hair masks. Ever since I discovered it, I swear by this mask. I will always have it in stock because it's so good. This is the Chris Appleton and Colorwell Money Mask for super glossy, expensive looking hair. By now, I'm pretty sure I've tried just about every single hair mask offered at Sephora. And I do have several favorites, but this is probably in the top spot. It's just so good. And what this mask does that other masks don't do because there are plenty of really hydrating masks out there. This detangles like no other. When I'm in the shower, I apply this mask. I let it sit as long as humanly possible. And then when I rinse it out, the hair just detangles like magic. I don't really have to struggle to detangle my hair. And I do try to brush out my hair before I get in the shower because when your hair is wet, it's compromised. So you don't want to do any harsh brushing because then you get a lot of breakage and damage. But I swear this makes your hair so much more manageable and just soft and instantly detangled. If you have chemical or color treated hair, if you have heat damage or your hair is just a texture where it gets tangled really easily, highly recommend this mask. It is so noticeable the difference and I feel like that's very rare when it comes to hair products because there are so many incredible brands. There are so many incredible products out there but this is a standout. And that completes my haul. That is everything I've picked up from Sephora so far during the savings event. I am gonna go back for one last lap. I'm not somebody who really needs a lot of beauty, but this is the perfect time to stock up on those all-time favorites, the products that you really don't wanna go without in your beauty routine. For me, that is definitely the Necessaire Body Serum. I would say the glow screen, the hair mask. There are a few bits and pieces in there that are just, non-negotiables for me. It doesn't matter if I have them from other brands, something similar. I want the exact 
product. So I feel really good about my haul so far and I am just a nosy Nelly. I like to know what all of you are shopping for so be sure to share all of your favorites, your recommendations, everything exciting that you're picking up during the savings event. Let me know down below in the comments section. As always I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. I will also make sure to include all of the dates, all of the details for the savings event will also be in the description box and for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.